Celtic hit six. Pass to Bernian and James Forrest got himself in the 100 goal club here on the 15th of October 2022. And it was very, very easy from a Celtic point of view. It really was. I mean, Hibs did threaten a potential, maybe uneasy half an hour or so for Celtic. But then they just went straight up away and scored with James Forrest getting his hat trick. But we kick off the game. Good goal by James Forrest. And I'm going to, I mean, I'm a Rangers fan, right? And of course there's going to be an odd bit of bias, right? But I think James Forrest gets an unnecessary amount of hate by Celtic fans. Like, the guy... Has been he he's been a long time servant. He's literally been there for like what twelve years, maybe more. Like, and he's got in the hundred goal club a day. And not many Celtic players would well, I say not many Celtic players have done it. But I mean, any player for a club to get over a hundred goals should be like considered fucking great, in my opinion. You know, I'm not saying he, he he's up there with Henrik Larsson, but I do feel like there's a bit of disrespect towards the guy. You know what I mean? For for my point of view, we're Rangers, <laughs> like. I don't really like Scott Wright or Fashion Sakala, but by the end of their tenure, if they were over 100 goals, I would have to just turn around and accept that, all right, you know what, they actually they actually weren't too bad. You know, they got scored a lot of goals and stuff like that. But, you know, maybe that's just me. But James Forrest, he kicks off with his goal. Uh, Gian Marcus is basically an exact replica of what happened against um, St. Johnston. Uh, where everybody whips it in and Marcus just finishes it. And, and it begs the question, we were just saying on commentary at this point, it's like, we're just taking our chances here, but we weren't in the Champions League. Like, see with Celtic in Europe this season, there is a legit argument, and a very good argument, that, you know, they, they should be sitting on way more points than what they are, but they're not, you know, I and mean, they've just got to accept that. Uh, after this, James Forrest hits a shot to the edge of the box, and then David Marshall just lets it in. It's a very cheap goal to concede from a Hibernian point of view. 3-0 kills the game. It really does. It kills the game. Um, and Celtic, I mean, they're pretty much back to their best here after a pretty shaky month. If we're being honest for Celtic, it was a pretty shaky month. We go into half time. Um, Hibs come out. They do manage to get a goal back. But like I said at the start of the fid, um, you know, 3-1. I mean, that's all good in the hood, but when you can see two minutes later, and that was James Forrest getting his hat-trick. So James Forrest will be getting a um, inform on FIFA, so if you want to check out a player review on that soon enough, that will be it. Um, I'll be up, because I uploaded the one about Kevin Van Veen. Um, and then we've got Giamakis getting his second of the game to make it 5-1, and then Dyson Meda made it 6-1 to the Celtics. Whose goal difference was, it wasn't taking a hit like, but you know, Rangers, they definitely closed it like since the start of the season, but now it's back to 13, albeit yes, Rangers have a game in hand, but it'll be interesting to see how long that um, can last as we move, if we just keep on moving through the games now, you know, here in October, um, and I finished 6-1, so yeah, that's it for this video, Celtic back to their uh, their best here, in my opinion, and uh, they've, they've bounced back since that loss to RB Leipzig, of course, they do have two more Champions League games coming up, but they're out. But I'm expect I think Celtic should be beating Shaq Dardanesque at home. You know, especially a very weakened Shaq Dardanesque. But Celtic fans, leave your thoughts down below. Has it been a good start to the season, or are you disappointed with the fact that Rangers are pretty close? I mean, if Rangers run the more, I mean, it is only two points, and the fact Europe. I mean, let's be real, like Europe for both old. I mean, Europe for Europe in general for Scottish football has been an absolute disaster. Who's it been the worst disaster for? I mean, it's probably Motherwell, for being honest. Like, as much as it's been bad for Rangers, at least they got to the Champions League group stage. A lot of people didn't think they would, and they've got that money. But then again, if we're talking about who's actually, who's it been worse for in the group stages, you've got to say Rangers. But from another point of view, you could look at it and say Celtic, because, you know, they've turned up, they just haven't got the results, and they're in an easier group than Rangers, but it is what it is. Till next time, guys. Celtic 6, Hebs 1.